nose is so red. I look idiot. I think the coffee finally kicked in. I'm so cold, as you can probably tell by the redness of my nose. If you're one of these people that thinks it doesn't get cold in Australia, let me tell you, it does. So, see so you now just walking home. And I think I'm going to do a little workout outside. Still, still working on convincing myself to actually do it, but uh, I will. Okay, this is my breakfast. I'm just gonna have that. And then I'm also gonna take my B-complex vitamin. And I think then I'm just gonna do some studying before I have to go to work. I think I'm just gonna write some flashcards for my current topic. And Lately I've been using the Pomodoro technique to study. If you don't know what the Pomodoro technique is, it's you basically set a timer for 25 minutes, study for 25 minutes, then take a 5 minute break and study for 25 minutes again. And um, it's been working really well for me. Like I've actually known that technique for so long but I've never used it because I was just like, what's the point? But there is some science behind this. So yeah, I've been doing that. And then I found this app. It's called Tide. It's not sponsored or anything. But I've really been liking this app. So basically, there's like different settings. Focus, sleep, nap, and breath. And I've been using the focus. What it does, it basically does the Pomodoro for me. I click on 25 minutes and then I can choose a sound scene let's try this one and then I start the timer and it plays music that helps me focus and then when the 25 minutes is over it's just gonna ask me to take a 5 minute break and basically sets up timer for a 5 minute break and reminds me when I have to get back to studying I know it sounds a bit pointless but I swear it's been helping me so much with focusing to go to work. I'm um, actually only gonna be working for three hours because I'm still in training because I only recently started that job. I actually lost my last job to the virus if you get what I mean and I was lucky enough to find a new job right away and I'm actually really thankful all this happened because I never really liked my last job anyway and in my new job I am working in a vegan cafe and also do some cooking and if this doesn't sound like me then I don't know so yeah I'm gonna see you after work <sighs> just finished work I actually ended up staying an hour longer than I was supposed to and I am so hungry at this point but I got my lunch from work and I'm gonna show you as soon as I'm home This is my late lunch. It's a pie, mashed peas and gravy. 
Obviously vegan, it's just pastry filled with a cheesy veggie mix. Quite different from what I usually eat, but I have to try everything we have on the menu. And yeah, I'm just gonna eat that now because I'm so hungry. My lunch was so good. Obviously pastry isn't the healthiest thing to eat, but as I said, it was yummy. And sometimes that's all that counts. You guys, I had no idea that I just edited it for three hours straight. Time literally just went by like this. I feel like when I'm editing, I'm in this bubble and I have no concept for time whatsoever. Anyway, I'm hungry. I'm gonna make dinner now. I'm not sure what I'm going to make, but we'll find out. I just found this in my cupboards. I bought it ages ago. I have no idea why I never used it. So I think I'm finally gonna try it today. It's basically just a blend of lentils, quinoa, beans. I think that's it. That's my dinner. It literally just took me like 15 minutes to make this. All I did was chuck everything into the pot and here it is. <laughs> 